Right then boys, welcome back to another video. So, before we start the video, if you wanna join the free school community, the link is below, I'll see you there. Let's jump straight into the video. So, guys, I am actually wearing the first man trench coat. Now, the size, little bit too big. I ordered slightly too big, not as big as I used to be, but I'm wearing it, let me know what you think. The quality is unbelievable fits really nice the length is good i would make a few little tweaks but for first edition i think we go from there i mean you look at companies like gymshark they started like where they started absolutely terrible i'm now wearing a four five hundred pounds trench coat that i think you know just looks great fits really well I'm trying to rearrange it for you guys whilst driving so you can almost like see the quality and stuff like that but yeah it goes well fits the outfit and stuff like that really proud of what we've done really proud of myself so yeah delighted now this actually ties into the point of the video the point of the video is and uh this is the ethos of the brand now i'll explain both points so the point of the video is the for years i've been saying to you guys you should do the same five things on repeat for five years i've been hammering that into everybody same five things on repeat for five years just hammering it away what the fuck are those five things? I've always said to you guys, you can pick them, but I thought, do you know what? What are the five things that I've done that gave me my male advantage journey? What was it that I did to get me to where I am today? What were the five things? Like, instead of just, you know, let's simplify it for people. And I've got a new team and we've really been discussing stuff moving forward. And we said First Man as a brand before, great brand name, fantastic products, Everything's been delivered upon now. It's, what a brand that we've built. It's an empire. It actually is an empire. It's ridiculous. Like you think, if you don't think it's an empire, we've got houses around the world. All of the guys from 1M International, we're all staying at... What is going on here? Can I come through? What are these guys doing? Yeah, we've got all the guys staying in Budapest literally next week for 1M International. We've got a house in Granada that we own outright for 1M International. It's ridiculous. And now the whole brand ties in. It ties into perfection. Because we decided, why don't we have an ethos? Why don't we have a journey? What is the purpose of this brand? What, what are we doing? And I was like, well, we're taking men on the male advantage journey. That's what we're doing. And they were like, well, how do you get there? And I was like, well, it's probably like five main things that you can do. And then I was like, well, it's the same five things on repeat for five years. And it will only take you five because I've done it. So I'll speed it up for you by showing you what you should and shouldn't do. And then it was like, well, one of them's life setup and framing, which ties into fashion and body language. Um, I was like, obviously, you know, we got the male advantage book. We've done the male advantage journeys. I was like, this is insane. Like... We've got our own fashion brand, we've got our own supplements, we can help with two of the pillars, which is obviously fashion and, f and fitness. It's like we, we've had all the answers all along, and then what's the end goal of the brand? Mr. International. Always has been, that's what I've always promoted. And I was like, well, that's 1M International, where you finally accomplished everything you wanted to accomplish, you got to the highest level in life, what do you want to do? You want to put it all to use. So how do you do that? Well, you travel the world with these like-minded guys that are also high level, and you know, we do all these meetups and masterminds and you know, and whatnot. And we have tickets to sports events and locations and we all meet up and we have the coolest life. And that's when you start learning the languages of different countries. Like, I was like, oh my God, it's a step-by-step -step journey. So when you join the free school community, that's why I take you through the step-by-step -step process to the male advantage journey uh, and reaching those male advantage years. Cause it's not guaranteed that everyone's gonna get there. I did it. I literally reached them at like 28, 29 years old. And that's exactly when I say to you guys, that's when it usually starts. So it's just phenomenal. Like the whole brand now has a zero to one direction and you guys actually, you know, have a pathway that you can follow. Now I'm gonna break that down for you guys, the five pillars, the same five things that you can do on repeat for five years, here's what they are. So number one is the mindset which I, I saw a TikTok thing the other day where they're like, somebody tries to sell a course, first thing they say is, first of all, you need the mindset. 
And I was like, yeah, I get it if there's nothing else off the back of it, but in terms of what we're doing here, you do need it. If you're gonna try and get to top level, you need to change your mind first. Like, how are you gonna make it without that? How are you gonna make it to the highest possible level if you're not thinking right, if you haven't got the right behaviors, if you're like, oh, should I go to the gym? Nah, maybe not. And you're just soft and you're weak. Like, so the first thing you have to do is get that right. And that comes from life experience. That comes from a video I'm making very soon about not letting the softness in. Um, and I'll break all that down for you guys. And truth be told, actually, if you join the free school community, I've done five videos explaining all of these in depth, but I just wanted to run through them on YouTube so that you guys had a clear direction if you don't want to join the free school community. So the second one is fitness. And I've always said, I think fitness is the foundation of men's self-improvement. Any transformation journey, like if you want to become successful in business, it probably starts on like a treadmill or with a heavy deadlift at 5 a.m. And you get that ties into mindset because that makes you a little bit tougher. And then next thing you know, you become the type of guy who is willing to get up at 5 a.m., put the work in, 18 hour days, you've got more energy, more testosterone. You're just that guy who's ready to go, okay? So that would be step two for me. So step one, get your mind right. Read certain books uh, like The Millionaire Minds by T. Harv Eker, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Eker. You know, all the Tony Robbins stuff, all of that stuff in the early days. Just grab as many of those books as you can. David Goggins, uh, Is It They Can't Break Me or something like that. The, read all of those books. You need your mindset to be right, first and foremost. Somebody in my position today, I, I don't really need one of those books. I've, you know, I've proven to myself who I am and what I do. And yeah. am I too arrogant to say I wouldn't read it? No, I'd read it. They're great books. I'm sure I could learn a lot, but... It's not what I need right now. I need specifics. In, in terms of reading, like in the early days, you just mass read and then you get the specifics off the back of that. That's how you do it. It's like a focused strategy. Um, oh, fuck it. I'm not waiting for you. You're taking too long. Uh, next up, important one, understanding women. Now, a lot of guys will say, why should I understand women on my male advantage journey? Isn't it my personal journey? Yeah, but there's two major points. Women are a massive headache for guys. Massive headache. Where so many guys spend millions, they're on dating apps every day, they're, they're multi-millionaires, they're in shape, they've got everything they ever want and they're lonely and they're just like, oh, I'm sad, I'm depressed. You know, having a beautiful, good woman in your life can solve a lot of problems, it can make you feel good. Basically, it's a problem in life that needs solving. If you can make it easier to solve and you can understand women and what they actually want, you can make your whole life easier. You're also probably not going to get divorced and leave a sh and lose a shit ton of money, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, but also, it's a massive factor in presentation. So I, I truly believe if a guy walks into a room and he's jacked, he's got some aura points. If a guy drives up to a building, gets out, and he's driving the nicest car and he's dressed really well, his aura points are through the roof. If he walks into a room with the world's most beautiful woman on his arm, his aura is through the roof. It's, 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 like, it's like the biggest thing that you can do to confirm that you've succeeded in life is having a beautiful woman on your arm. I don't know why, but it just almost signifies to the world. It's like the shiniest possible object that you can acquire, which I know is a weird way to put things, but it's true. And I think, it, like I said, if you can solve that problem and it's not a headache in your life and it's easy to do, and you can, you know, you can have a beautiful woman on your arm or multiple boy if that's you, if that's what you want to do, or you can just have one great woman and build a family or something like that, and you can actually choose who you want because you know what to do and you understand women, then that's a major bonus. It's going to save you a lot of heartache. It's going to save you a lot of time when you're just pissing and moaning about how bad women are and watching 58 different podcasts with OnlyFans girls on saying, hey, see, look, look, see, this is the problem with women. Like, you don't want that. Now, number four is success so in my opinion understanding women should come before success now should, dating women different you know i always i always say you shouldn't really be dating women if you're broke you're just wasting their time and yours uh, and you're wasting money that you don't really have yet so yeah you can casually take things when they're on a plate if a woman's like come back to my place for two hours you can yeah take it but like don't go out on a massive date and go and spend 500 pounds on her, buy her some shit and whatnot. Don't take her on holiday. Like, you haven't got that kind of money yet. You shouldn't be doing it so early on. Um, so that's the reason why I think success should be after. Because you need to understand women 
so that once you start making money, once you start doing well, you've already got options. You can already tap into it quickly. You can make it happen, right? So understanding is just something you can do along the way. You know, fitness is also something you can do along the way. The mindset is something you can do along the way. You can, it doesn't have to be like in order, if you get what I mean, but success will probably happen last. It'll probably be the last thing on that list of four that I've just mentioned there because I'm trying to think where I want to go here, actually, guys. I'm going to go this way. I haven't driven this way for a while. Let's mix up the journey, eh? Yeah, but those four things, you need, uh, you need to do them in that kind of in that like kind of like a semi order because that is probably the order that it's going to be in where you know you go okay i want to be somebody i want to start my male advantage journey let me number one get in shape and change my mindset like, that's the first thing let me change my mindset and get in shape which is what most people do um Whilst you're doing that along the way, you're reading books about understanding women, you're figuring out how this game works, you're just having marathon mindset conversations and stuff like that. Um, and then you're working on your success. It might take you five years to put some level of success in, right? Once you tick the success box, which, I mean, let me dive deeper on success, which I have in the free school community. You can literally go and watch five, six, seven, I think seven videos, but five main ones. You can go and watch them right now. Uh, and you get some free rewards while you're in there too. You get, uh, once you've completed the five videos, you get the male advantage journey from How to Beast for free, which is a streaming platform project. So, I mean, it's really cool, guys. I, I would go and join. Obviously, like, it doesn't cost a penny. So, with success, there is no one fits all route. Everyone says, do you want to know how to become successful? What you should do is nine head spins and four one hot foot jumps. It's like, mate, shut up. You're getting on my nerves. Like, I don't want to name names, but there's some morons in this industry now that have definitely made money because they're, you know, just that type of person that knows how to make money. They're good with numbers and digits, but they're not the vocal guy. They're not the guy to give the resounding speech and tell you what you actually need to hear. And uh, there's one guy in particular I'm thinking of right now. I think he's a massive bozo, but he's got a giant following. And um, the way he talks about success is so blanketed. He's like, this guy got home at 4 a.m., and he started working, bro. He was working. You want to know how you succeed? You work, right? And it's, it is the biggest telltale sign if somebody is legitimately successful or not. If you say to them, how do I become successful? They go, just just hard work, man. Just put just put the work in. Just loads of hours of work. Just, you know, just do the work. That's, that's all they have to say because they're not actually successful, so they actually have no idea. They're like, fuck knows. I'm still trying to figure it out myself. Hard work is such a poor person's response. Now, do you have to work hard? Yeah, but it's way better to work hard on things that matter. So, like, I do weekly task lists instead of daily task lists. I pick 10 things per week, and I make sure I do them really, really well. And I just focus on those 10 things. A lot of people go, right, I've got 20 things to do today. I'm going to work. I'm going to do 20 hours. But they're just treading water. They're getting nowhere. I'm doing front crawl flat out like you got to think I, I have actually created my own streaming platform I do actually have an international members club that has a house <laughs> that you know it got completely transformed in three months that we've got 200 members of like it's just it's just ridiculous when you think about it like all the things that we're doing I'm current I said I was going to do a fashion line I'm currently wearing the first model of the coat today the supplements are in stock in the next couple of days the school community is just flying and thriving and it's just you, know, you just get shit done. So I know I'm working hard, but I'm doing the things that matter. And that's the big difference maker that nobody will ever talk about. Now, another tip that I would give for success is to play the long game. And I know nobody wants to hear it, guys, but you do. You have to play the long game. You, 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 you just simply can't, in this world anymore, think that you're going to be successful within a year. It's the Alex Hormozy quote again. It's taking a long time because you're in a rush. And here's the thing, if one of you guys becomes super successful in like two months and says, Chris, you must be an idiot, I'd shake your hands, give you a round of applause, let you have a go on my missus. But outside of that, like it's probably not gonna happen. Like you're just gonna be, you're probably gonna be that one in a million guy. I've just driven, in, driven into traffic, but who cares? Uh, you're, pro you're probably not gonna be that one in a million guy that is gonna make it all happen within like a year, two years, whatnot. You're probably gonna follow the, the normal standard trajectory of most guys, which is like an eight year journey. Right, and that's what I mean. I can make it five for you because I've done it. I can actually pass that information down. I've been successful in about 12 different industries and all different areas of industry. 
So I can pass that down to you. I've got a pretty good idea now on how to do it as a blanketed subject in terms of success. Um, but you've got to expect it. You've got to go into the game knowing it's going to be tough, knowing there's going to be headaches, knowing that you're going to have really, really tough days where you probably want to kill yourself. But you just kind of have to smile through it. It's almost like the Joker. You're almost like enjoying pain. You're almost like getting beaten up and just enjoying it, smiling, laugh on your way through it. That's the only people that make it. It's the only way I've made it. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit tapped. I'm a little bit psychotic. I think you guys can tell from the videos. Um, certain things I do. But you have to be, you have to be a little bit of a wild man. You have to have a little bit of a tap brain to make it in this kind of industry because it's just not nice. It really isn't nice. Like all the flashy shit. Like you see me sat here right now driving around in a Range Rover wearing a 400, 500 pound gabardine trench coat that my company owns that I've made. And it's like, whoa, I want his life. His life looks really cool. And I'm off moving to London in the next few days to a really nice apartment. Oh my God, I want Chris's life. Yeah, but it's like eight years of wanting to fucking kill myself most days. Like, it is an absolute shit show of a time. Like, it's horrible. There's so many days where I was just like, what am I doing? I'm wasting my time. Everybody's moving beyond me. Everyone's making money. I'm not. I'm just sat here like an idiot. That woman's just left me. Like People don't, people don't see that. It's very much the iceberg effect. So mentally prep yourself. And do you know what I find? If somebody punched me in the face, I'd probably... You, you know when they say in boxing, it's the punches you don't see that knock you out. It's true in success as well. If you're just like, oh, this is going to be amazing. We're going to start a business. We're going to be millionaires this time next year. And you're clanging drinks together in the bar. And boom, life just hits you like that. Just cleans you straight out. You weren't expecting it. You just get wiped. Whereas I learned pretty early on. This is why it won't take you guys as long as it took me. I think I can get you there five things for five years. That's why I want to take you guys on this journey because I know exactly what to do. I can stop you making the mistakes. But I realized about two years in, like, shit, this is really difficult. This is really tough. And I was like, it isn't going to get easier. No matter how many times I punch into my calculator, oh, if I sell this for thirty nine ninety nine, and I sell it to a thousand people per month, I'm making 40 grand per month and then I'm set for life. And I'll start looking at apartments and cars now because that's probably going to happen in the next three months. Three months later, you're like, fuck, I'm broke. I've got these bills and debts. Like, didn't go to plan. Nobody bought my shit. Oh, I didn't, I didn't account for profit margins. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You're learning along the way. And um, that's what makes it so tough. But you don't see that. It's the learning curve. That's where you struggle. The learning curve is the hardest bit. And that's what I mean. I can shorten that for you. But people don't expect it. They don't expect it to be difficult. And that's where the struggle comes from. Now, the final step is life setup and framing. Now I class that as fashion, body language, uh, your assets, the way you frame yourself, you know, do you, you, do the way you dress, the way you present yourself to the world, um, the way you just operate in general, the way you speak, that sort of thing. It's how you present yourself to the world. And it, the benefits of this is you get business opportunities coming to you. You get beautiful women coming to you. You can set your life up in a certain way. I'll give you the perfect example, right? This is one of my favorites. You've got billionaires that go and buy lingerie companies and fashion companies. Why do they do that? They do that so they can have access to some of the most beautiful women that have ever lived. That's life set up. They're just putting themselves in a fantastic position. That's like, it's smart. You know, they just, I'm going to start a lingerie company and I'm just going to like host auditions and probably end up dating one of the women and then I'm going to wife her and it's just like that's how they put their lives together this is what billionaires do they strategize very very well so it's no secret that so many of them have investments in companies like that you could see exactly what they're doing or at least they'll have friends that have that sort of setup and um you know they'll go to their parties all the time and stuff like that because you know sometimes it's just easier to do it that way but there's so, there's so many different ways that you can do it in terms of framing you know as, as much as I don't want to quote him, but I think, do you know what? It's not that I don't want to quote him. It's just with all the stuff that's coming out and all the stuff that I predicted years ago coming true, it just seems a bit like, uh, you know, I guess you were fake as fuck like everyone else. But he, say, he did say really well, this is Andrew Tate, by the way. He did say, for example, if you've got a guy who's a billionaire and he gets out of like a Ferrari and he's dressed in like a sweater vest with a little, little pocket bit on, with some pens in there and stuff like that. And he's got his glasses on. And he's a little skinny guy. You're going to be like, oh, tech nerd. He's, he's made millions or billions from tech. Whereas if you get a guy like, I don't know, 
like a buzz cut and a beard and some muscle, you know, and he's dressed in a certain way where he just looks like an Albanian mob boss, then you're just going to be like, who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that guy? That's a dangerous man. That's somebody who gets respect, gets higher level attention. I mean, people are going to think it's like a henchman for the Russian mob. Do you know what I mean? That's a dangerous guy and that's called framing. You know, I've told you guys for years, creating your hyper-masculine character. A lot of you guys, your faces look soft, your bodies look soft. The way you dress is too feminine. Wearing fucking flared trousers and shit. Come on, man. Like, what's all that stuff about? you got to present yourself to the world in a very masculine format. You know, that's what that's what men are. We're masculine. We're strong. You know, that's what you got to... You, you got to have that about you. You've got to... You know, you're showing up in like a lime green Ferrari wearing flared trousers. I'm going to be like, this guy doesn't get it. Like, he's, just, he's like some Harry Styles lookalike. And that works for famous guys. But for the average guy on the street, no, go and get the black Ferrari. Go and get go and get the black Lamborghini or something like that. You know, go and get something very down. Like, I know it doesn't sound down to earth, but it is in comparison with the lime green one. Uh, and then on top of that, actually dress you know, like, go, go and watch John Wick or something. Go and watch The Gentleman. Go and dress like somebody who, you know, go and dress like somebody who could potentially be the henchman of a Bond villain. You know, something like that, but with a bit more Paris Fashion Week style. Like, blend the two together. I, I talk about all this in the school community, so I help you guys with that as you go along the journey. Um, that's why I'm creating the fashion brand, so I can create each piece of clothing and then pair outfits together so you guys don't even have to think about it. I think that's so much easier than trying to teach people. Um, but yeah, there's so, like life setup, framing, body language, because there's, there's a congruency to who you are as a man. If you're like a successful man who thinks he's tough and stuff like that, but your body language is very much like closed and whatnot, it's not going to work, is it? It's not going to come across correctly. You're going to be scared when you're talking to people. You don't understand human behavior. You don't understand the social world. If you don't have that, like everything can fall apart. And in my new system, the male of artist journey, those five things that you can do on repeat for five years, those five pillars, that's all you need, guys. That's all you need. Like I said, everything is within that sort of stuff. So when I say fitness as well, it's fitness and looks maxing. So all the stuff about skincare, orthotropics, all the things that I've taught you guys over the years, submental exercises, grooming habits, it's all in there. Everything is in there. It's just a five-stage plan. So everyone always says to me, I get so confused there's so much to think about, so much to learn all the time when it comes to men's self-improvement. I think I have it mastered and then there's 10 new things that pop up. Just five, same five things on repeat for five years. I'll show you guys how to do it. Just uh, go and join the free school community. Like I said, there's five videos elaborating on these topics a little bit further. Uh, and then at the end of that, there is a male advantage journey from How to Beast, massive YouTuber with millions of subscribers. We filmed it at his house in Marbella. Um, I actually edited that. Let me know what you think. I think the intro is pretty cool. Let me know. Um, but yeah, his male advantage journey. So everything's congruent. Everything is all about the male advantage journey. The five pillars, same five things on repeat. All the concepts I've ever spoken about perfectly in a pattern now. And then you get to the end. How did you become Mr. International? Well, we'll let you know when you get that far. But it's not worth thinking about at the start. But what you can do to change your life Join the free school community, go and get the free content, start your male advantage journey today, and uh, I will guide you hand by hand, step by step, through the process, and I don't think it will take you more than five years if you follow everything that I've said. You've got to remember, I did about five years of trial and error and messing up, so I've only had actually like five years of doing the right things on repeat, um, and that was during COVID as well, so I even lost all my fitness gains. So. If you, do the, if you do the right things, guys, I genuinely think the same five things on repeat or the five pillars of the male advantage journey on repeat for five years, you're there. Your whole life has changed. You become Mr. International. You guys can do it in five. I've got all the information for you. Go and join the free school community and I'll see you there. Have a good one, guys.